Good. So uh, it's a pleasure to present you the, the Polar Star project, uh, especially because we have just finished it a few months ago. And uh, <clears throat> uh, it, it was a, uh, it, and it directly targets to teachers. So, so you are <laughs> really the right audience for this. And we really want to disseminate the, the project and, and so that it will be used widely after the the project ends because now actually it starts in a way for teachers. So uh, it's shortly called Polar Star and uh, a longer name is, is guiding the way towards STEAM through innovative learning approaches and contemporary science. And I try to open a little bit more about uh, the title that what actually it means and how this all is connected to STEAM activities and STEAM teaching and STEAM learning. So just shortly uh, to present our, our team members. So we are a team of seven EU countries and uh, we already started 2019 and uh, because of this, this difficult years we could implement it also in, in the schools uh, <clears throat> uh, but now we want to, to implement it, it more. So University of Turku and I'm actually the project coordinator in this Polar Star and then we have from Greece a group that's directly targeted to, to methodology part and also one team from University of Cyprus <clears throat> and then we have two expert teams that were expert in the content so from Polar Research we have a Polish team and then from Ireland especially for astronomy part for the Starkit a special team and then for the monitoring unit uh, of Deusto from <clears throat> from Spain and then from Portugal for the implementation and, and dissemination of, of the project and uh, we had a great team and it was really a pleasure to to direct this this team so just uh, let me try to show you in in one figure the key elements of our polar star project so if we start uh, <clears throat> from the methodology, because everything is based on the methodology, um, I will go a little more deeper to science as well as team education, but they are actually the basis of the whole project. So all the activities that we have developed during the project, they stand actually on these two feet, science as well as team education. And uh, the science as a whole, creates kind of structure, uh, kind of memory memory structure. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's mostly based on previous Erasmus project that was called Platon project. Maybe some of you know already the project. And uh, during the Platon already the basis were was developed, but we wanted to use the basis of that project and bring them to the school classes to through STEAM education activities. And the STEAM education part is actually the method, how the science as a whole approach is applied to different teams. And for this, we have developed two different teams. So, so then if we look to the educational content, we have Polarkit and Starkit, and they are really a package of activities that are ready-made activities for teachers to use at school. And uh, they are they can be considered as examples how these two methods can can be implemented at schools. Or then you can just or teachers can just use the activities itself without thinking about the the, the methodology itself. But of course, it works best if there is also some knowledge about the methodology behind the activities. And to use all these activities uh, and, and the methodology as efficiently as possible, we have created some training materials. They contain some uh, YouTube videos, uh, some PowerPoint presentations, so, so teachers can uh, train themselves or if they want to have some other teachers with them, they can together uh, get familiar with the project using the training materials. 
And then, of course, the assessment tools are also very important. We have created also some advanced ways how how this the ho the whole idea can be then <clears throat> evaluated using the tools we have developed. So these these form the basic structure of the project, and uh, we have a very fruitful website also that I will show in the end. So I, I hope that if you if you are interested about the project, just go there and browse and and learn more about it. So from the educational content part, Polar Star introduced to school two fascinated subjects, the Arctic research and space exploration. Now one can think that, OK, why these two kind of very specific in the way uh, teams? Why we use this? And there is a reason behind it, because they actually they are both closely linked to everyday day life, even though you don't think that they are closely linked, but they really are. And uh, also, they are important when we consider the global problems like climate change. And uh, we can connect both research areas to, to different communities, uh, to everyday lives of, of students. And everyone has some experience about the space, about also about the Arctic research, about, or about the oceans. Even though you live uh, different parts of, of Europe, for example, or different parts of the world, when you think how our Arctic areas are influenced by the climate sense, how they actually affect to the whole globe. So we, we need to have an understanding about the, all these uh, uh, themes to understand how the world is developing. And also about the astronomy, it's something that's, uh, that's very fascinating to students. Uh, it's it's uh, it can be seen a lot in the media, so it it can be sometimes a stepping stone to to science topics, so that they they will be interesting and they are interesting to learn and also interesting to teach. So <clears throat> they are very rich source of excitement for for students, but also very important when we are thinking about steam is that they are highly interdisciplinary. And we have tried to uh, underline this interdisciplinarity uh, in all our developed activities. <clears throat> so, so all the content that we have produced, they, they include content of, of, of technology and, and mathematics and, and all these uh, areas. But it's not necessarily so that <clears throat> they have equal balance. So some may be more like science focused activities, some may be more technology oriented activities, some may be more oriented to art oriented activities, but they all anyway contain steam elements. <clears throat> so let's take a look a little bit more detailed about our activities. So in the polar kit, we have five different activity kits, plastic in the Arctic, northern lights, surviving, surviving the Arctic permafrost and Arctic amplification. And uh, <clears throat> then in the star kit, we have five uh, additional kits like uh, or, or star kits, uh, solar system astronomy, surviving in space, gravitational waves, observing the skies of observation. And then we have one extra in the star kit namely Mars uh, escape room. That's a kind of special activity that that can be uh, the, the instructions can be downloaded that it's quite easy to <clears throat> to to implement in the, in the class also. So it doesn't require too much material. So for all these uh, 11 uh, uh, activities, we have downloadable version that's kind of paper version that that can be uh, printed if needed. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, there are there are some uh, uh, exercise uh, or some materials that some working material uh, together with a PowerPoint presentation that supports the teaching in the class. But then if uh, teachers want to use only online material. We have for all these activities, we have also Colab version. 
so that can be used only as an online version so there's no need to to use paper material at all and all the activities they actually contain more than one uh, uh, like uh, like working uh, hour so they typically last uh, a, a few times uh, uh, 45 minutes like 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 uh, three to four times 45 minutes uh but but they have been structured in a way that that if if teachers want to use only part of the activities it's also possible and actually if you are using the online material it's easy to edit and or take away some parts of the of the activities if teachers want to only use uh them like like in one 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 uh, hour or 45 minutes class and the age group varies between 11 and 18 years, uh, depending on the activity. For example, uh, uh, gravitational wave activity is quite challenging, so it, it's targeted to, to a bit older students. Uh, if, if we think about northern lights, for example, if some parts are taken away, it can be implemented to, to also younger students, even younger than 11 years old so there is a lot of flexibility in the material <clears throat> just some examples from some implementation uh, stages uh, like like this this picture with the two balls is from gravitational waves it's based on some a uh, demo uh, that's uh, that's actually then connected to what gravitational waves are how they are formed how how what is this uh, how these waveforms are formed and so on uh, some art piece or some collection of different uh, outputs from plastic in the arctic activity in the next picture then we have a few pictures from uh, from northern uh, uh, northern lights activity that, that's uh, as you can see it's really art based activity art focused activity um, then this including is uh, I think also no this, this is surviving in the Arctic activity um, this is this is this model of James Webb space telescope is is from from astronomy activity and, and also the, the last one where that's that's also tar targeted to a bit older students where students are creating uh, color images from real science data from from space missions so just as an example what kind of outputs uh, teachers uh, have done uh, while they have implemented in, uh, in in our test phase so if we come back to the methodology as I told you, we have the science as a whole, that, that's kind of basis of, of everything, and then STEAM education. And science as a whole is, is a basis that was based on the Platon project. And, uh, and STEAM education is, is the way how everything is connected together and how the classes are structured and, and made, made in, the, in, the, in the activities. So, so this science as a whole, Actually, the idea of science as a whole is, is try to find a way how we can connect all these underlying connections between different science concepts that are used in different activities. And behind this are eight big ideas of science and, uh, and then smaller basic ideas of science. And it, it's very difficult to kind of uh, teach or show uh, in 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 a in a short presentation, but it, it it's really very deep methodology, and uh, it it tries to support the knowledge retention. So how we can connect things to 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 main concepts of of science. So the idea is 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 try to get for the students how they can keep the big big picture in mind, what we are actually teaching, how we can connect the, uh, concepts uh, to action how the teaching can be actually personalized and how we then 
review everything what we have done to to increase the knowledge retention. And for this memory palace, we have these big ideas of science, eight main science concepts that are then structured to the smaller or basic smaller uh, <clears throat> parts uh, to sub concepts. We present each concept in action. We connect them to the different natural phenomena, different technological approaches. And then, <clears throat> then we bring the personalized, lead, uh, personalized learning approach, uh, connect all the students' memories, experiences to this. And then uh, using this Science One tool that that's, you can see also the link, one.ea.gr, Actually, all these parts are connected to the science one. And the science one tool is something that uh, teachers can be used in their class. And it, it's, uh, it's kind of easy to use when you first uh, know the basics of it. And then the STEAM education is, is something that connects all these together. And uh, different activities have different flavors. So they can be science focused, technology, engineering, art. Mathemat no, mat mathematics is actually always behind it. So we have focused to science, technology, and art focused STEAM activities. We have different tem templates for them if teachers want to build their own activities. Or then, if you want to use the ready made activities, we have uh, specific documents that uh, highlight the different uh, focuses of, of these this, uh, activity parts. So, just as a summary, science as a whole basically uh, uh, says or, or, or gives the answer to what actually is thought, what concepts are thought as STEAM education, how it's thought. Uh, science as a whole connects all the activities to the curriculum, to the context, to the concept level, and then STEAM education to action level, to, to teaching level. And then finally, we try to uh, build a bridge between everyday life and school life using these two approaches and then we have these activities as an as a collection of examples so thanks a lot and please take a look to the website it, it's it's ready we have the roadmap can be downloadable and uh, i really uh, encourage you to to download the roadmap because it, it it com combines all the knowledge, everything together. It's it's very visual. It's it's very nice. So, so please uh, use our project in in the best possible way. It, it's really made for the teachers.